Hello boys and welcome back to another Brood War ladder battle. We've got Shine spawning here in the top left hand corner, Royal in the bottom left, and I just wanted to take a look at this small series between these two professional gamers on the ladder because I am loving Shine's play recently. He was just kicking absolute butt, just wrecking, rolling smashing face in the KSCM this week and yeah I just I'm, I'm stoked I can't wait to see him in the ASL man really really excited for that um I watched him in the qualifiers didn't get a really good look at uh too many of his matchups I think he got through on ZVZ if I remember correctly but I'm really excited to see what he can do against royal who's spawning down here and getting a wall in at the front immediately royal has been really really strong lately as well he's waiting in the finals of the kscm for the zerg squad so we might see next week uh shine versus royal that would be a lot of fun this a little preamble here that happened just this week between these two players and wow we're getting the gas already here for shine so shine going nutty right off the bat i thought that he would open really normal um, i was expecting him to do just a completely standard build because that seems to be his mo this season only play standard and then when things get a little bit weird that's when he falls back into his kind of bag of build style. Um, but here he's going for such an early gas. It's crazy. I don't know how quick he's going to actually make this. Yeah, look at that. Wow. 2 minute 35 layer. Just for reference. Generally, the layer will start out at about 3 minutes, 3 minute 5, something like that is a pretty standard layer timing for a 2 hatch layer. But here he is getting this thing out incredibly fast. He is adding on some more drones. He has 3 lings heading across the map. There's 3 marines back at home in the wall. So this won't do any damage, but he needs to keep these alive. Oh, he's actually going to dive here. This is kind of crazy. Going after the marines. He does keep one Ling alive and kills one Marine. Now, if Royal can go out and force out any more Lings from Shine, it's going to really hurt his build order. So that's the reason why he was so intent on keeping something alive. I'm shocked that he actually dove on the Marines there. That is crazy to me. He's got one Ling chasing this SCV. He might swap, send this Ling to attack the SCV. It only has 12 HP, but it probably won't be killed by the SCV and then bring this one out to scout. The Overlord flying into the main right now. Are you kidding me? Wait a second. This could be a huge mistake. Okay, he gets in. He just sees the gas and he's going to turn around and head on out. Seems like Royal did not spot that. Royal sees the four links here at the front. He sees no Ling speed just yet, but it's about to finish. And then we should see Shine just dive on top of that. He does. He gets the kill here on the SCV. And he has his Spire on the way. Now, I don't think with this build, the like two racks that we're seeing out of Royal, that he can go... I don't think he can go across the map with the two racks at five minutes. We're going to have uh, Mutas before that. I think Mutas should be popping out really fast. And so there's no way to come out here and pressure and force sunken colonies. There's also, of course, no way for Shine to go and take a third base right now. He just doesn't have the money for it. Uh, he will rotate his Overlord here. It could go right on top of this high ground. It's a little bit dangerous, though, because you can get Vision uh, standing here with, an, with a Marine. And then you could potentially pick that off. So he's kind of hanging back a little bit. Just keeping this in the absolute most safe spot for that Overlord. And his build is so particular. It has to be perfect. So he's making sure that he will not uh, lose an Overlord at such an important time. He's got five Mutas on the way. Plus one is coming up. He gets a kill on one of these Marines here at the front. 
as the bunker is finishing up and this bunker is critical for Royal. He needs that bunker to protect these two supply depots. That's one major point of weakness in his defense right now. He is going to be starting up some more turrets at the same time. Mutas are now flying in. We have quite a few here moving in, but it's not just yet enough to actually deal any damage. He's going to wait for about seven while taking the 12 o'clock as his third base. An interesting choice there from Shine. Shine getting his moves together now with five. Thinking about diving in here, but he takes a lot of damage on one of these Mutalists. Brings it down to about half HP. Don't really want to get these too badly softened up before you go for any sort of dive. Now that seven are here, he can one-shot these SCVs, but Royal is... He is locked down tight right now. Four turrets in the natural, three in the main, uh, three over the main command center, three over that barracks. So this is looking very tight right now from Royal. There's hardly any way in right now. A couple of turrets go down. A few SCVs going to get picked off here at the edge. That's like four or five SCVs. Not too bad. But it looks like Roll wants to just start to move out. Okay, Shine gonna dive deep right now. And the Lings are gonna get picked off completely. So almost every Ling goes down. And now Shine's gonna have to find a way out of this main and go back to try and fight these Marines that are moving across the map. There's some reinforcements coming up. He's got a good chunk of Mutalus here. Going to start to shave off a few of these Marines. Lings are coming around. They're going to just get in the way of any reinforcements that are coming out. But this is great for Royal. He's pushed or he's forced the Mutas to leave his natural so he can add on some more turrets and get back to mining here. There's 30 SCVs remaining. He's going to dive on top of this. All right. A couple of Mutalists do go down, but he kills the entirety of the bio force. A really big win here for Shine. Now, will he begin the transition? A lot of times you'll see immediately a Hydralist Den and Queen's Nest thrown down after picking off that first bio ball, but that doesn't seem to be what Shine wants to go for. He's adding some drones, but he's continuing to pump mutas. We're all gonna scan the natural. He scans top right. He doesn't know about 12 o'clock just yet. Coming into this natural. Gonna go ahead and pick off one of these turrets, but at the cost of a Mutalisk. Marine number is super low because we only had the two barracks production. Losing the initial Marine count, I mean, it hurts very, very bad. Hydralis Den starts. There's the Queen's Nest. So he is gonna get this transition going, albeit a little slower than I uh, would have originally thought. It's just such a good opportunity to make that transitionary tack when your opponent loses all of their Marines. But Shine wanted to make a few more mutas so that he can continue this harassment. He gets his lurkers going. He has four Hydras on the way. As a Valkyrie begins here, you can see a scan goes down in the natural. We see that Shine has a Hydralis den. Is he going to switch it? switch up out of this Valkyrie because he should know that lurkers will be coming here very soon. I think it's time to build that science facility. There it is. The science facility starts. He knows that he will need science vessels. If it was just a Mutalisk all in, then the Valkyrie play is very good. That's why he did the scan after he lost the Marines. He wanted to find out if that transitionary tech was going. Uh, after the scans, he threw this down. Uh, so the Valkyrie is out now. Because he didn't see any of that transitionary tech. But here we go. Valkyrie push is live right now. He's coming straight across the map. Scourge have joined this fight, but the Mutas have been badly hurt. We've only got one sunken colony here at the front. It's not done. Oh my gosh. Is Roll just going to break through this before Shine is ready? slowing down that like the transition was just a little bit late here for shine you can see if he had only started this a few seconds earlier he would have had these lurkers out by now but they're not done uh all the lurkers are gonna spawn at the same time here we go four lurkers all at the same time 
Great burrow here. He's going to target down. He's got a target onto the Marines. He's doing an awesome job so far. He kills almost every single Marine. Really, really well done there by Shine. If you let the Lurkers just target kind of randomly here, you would have ended up uh, losing anything, everything and not really killing anything in that fight. There was a little bit too much of a spread on the Marines from Royal. Now, if Royal had spread a little bit better, maybe he could have broken through them. Maybe he could have killed that last Lurker and just powered through uh, the natural. But here he is, he's moving out on the map. He actually targets down one Lurker immediately, but Lings are gonna jump on top of this. And without any medic support, these Marines are not gonna do too well. They get forced back. He has plus one armor done. That plus one armor gonna make huge, huge impact versus these Lurkers because it forces the Lurkers to shoot three times instead of two to kill the Marines off. Trying to come up this ramp here. Gonna come from an angle, it looks like. Going after a few of these links. He's gonna try and spread. Oh, the vessel gets picked off. He forgets the scan. Oh my God, that's so painful. Good targeting here, but it looks like Shine is just gonna win this fight completely. That snipe on the one vessel was so big. If only Royal had targeted down one of those Scourge, but he didn't. And now the pressure is fully on. We have the hive done. Defiler mound is on the way. It's just about there, just about done. And there are lurkers pouring in from the north. They're gonna get right up here in the front. We've now got five lurkers and no vessel. Well, there's the next vessel just popping out, but it is going to take an age to just burn through all of these lurkers he's got to find ways to break out so he's looking for angles where only a couple of lurkers can fire but it's too bad too late so many units coming up here to the front shine breaks through and royal i mean he on a knife's edge managed to hold off that attack into the natural it was so close just crazy crazy close game here for shine he ends up taking it home though. We've got one more game after this to see how these two are matching up so far. Shine looking very good. I'm getting even more excited guys for the upcoming matches for this upcoming season of ASL as well. Don't go anywhere. We've got one more game coming right up. There's been a series of new updates to Neon Marble Rust since the last sponsored video. And now all three races have been released. There is so much variety and complexity to this game, and I can't wait to dive into it on stream. Each race is completely unique, different units, different resources, different play styles. Come check it out on my channel, and for those of you who are unaware, this is a brand new RTS game from a single developer who is a big fan of Brood War. It's an insane challenge to create an RTS with three races as a solo developer, so hats off to NMR. That's it, try the game, link in the description, free to play, now back to the video. All right, same map, same matchup here between Shine and Royal. Gotta be feeling good after a win like that. Barely eking it out there, Shine. Saving his neck by just a second. Really, the targeting was fantastic. If you go back and watch the Lurkers, they were kind of spread out. The Marines were very spread as well. He just managed to target the two lurkers onto each little stack of marines one by one really calm unpanicked play there from shine able to snipe down all of those marines if you know three or four marines survive all those lings that were popping out to reinforce they just get gunned down they don't even do anything the medics will sustain and the marines will just slaughter everything um, maybe if you come in all at once at the perfect time, but it's so hard to do when the lings are just popping out of the eggs and drones lives are on the line. Uh, the Marines are going to be shooting those down really quickly. So you have to make a move immediately. And I, I just, I can't tell you guys how many times I've barely not held on. And there's been like three Marines left and it just kills my entire drone line just because everything popping out of the eggs dies after those lurkers are busted such a pain for any zerg player you know what i'm talking about now we've got royal here in the top right he's going to be throwing down a barracks inside his main base this time it's not the greatest location to try and build 
a Wallen. Actually, this this is funny. This kind of reminds me of last season of ASL. Do you guys remember C building a a wall at the front here, and all of the pro players uh, kind of clowning on him about it? It was pretty hilarious. I just remember it was a completely whack. Like it made no sense at all. But it's a very difficult area to uh, wall in. Basically for all races, Citadel is kind of a weird map with this this strange like uh, rock formation right here that prevents you from building on top of it. You really have to make it tight right up until this spot and then maybe get an SCV out in the front. Try to block that. We're seeing the Overlord take a lot of damage, but it shouldn't die. It really shouldn't die. I mean, is it going to die? Oh my god, so close. It is so close, man. 30 HP on that. Will he just float something over here? I would almost be tempted to. That's so low right now. Um, but we could have Lings come out and just, you know, annihilate these Marines and then you'd be in a lot of trouble. So he's not going to do that. Instead, he's just going to send these Marines across the map. Going to go ahead and put on some pressure here with the naked Marines. He sees a couple of Lings pop out. Two more making their way forward. That should signal Royal to turn around and just head on back home. There's no reason to take a fight against four Lings this early on into the game unless he can get some sort of huge advantage like standing right on top of the ridge line. As the Lings come up, he can just target down one of them. That gives him the, uh, the advantage in the fight and he could actually win that. But no, he's just going to head back home. Shine not going to fall for a... Easy trick like that, but he is going to build a ton of lings right now. Oh my gosh. He's going to... Yeah, he's going to try and kill him. He's just going to try and kill him here. Shine. You sneaky, sneaky boy. Metabolic boost is just about time. He's going to get the SCV too. Oh, that's huge. He kills the SCV. Royal has no scouting on the map. We're not even going to take the gas this game, I don't think. We might take the gas after the spire is done and just mine it with three uh with three drones and have nothing on the mineral patches although that is kind of inefficient i don't know if you can actually build pure muta i know that if you're playing zvz it's fine because you can just build scourge but there's no point in building scourge here so i doubt he'll do that he's coming in with the links he's trying to bait the marines over here to the left hand side so he can come into the to the rear, but actually that's going to be pretty good for Royal. Well, it's not good enough, I guess. The Marines, uh, they're surrounded by the SCVs, but still, it's a little bit too much damage. The SCVs are not able to block in this choke. Oh my god, they're so close. He almost managed to block it there. But all of the Marines and SCVs wind up going down. Shine going to get a cheeky little victory here, and wow shine really flipping the apple cart here like going against my expectations completely this is not the shine that i was expecting to see today uh from what we've seen in tournament play shine is the player who just loves to play standard he always wants to play standard unless you try to pull something on him like if you're gonna eight racks him you're gonna do something crazy he will flip the script on you and just pull out some wacky Hydralisk all in or Lurker drop all in or something like that to get himself back into the game from a very bad deficit. But most of the time, he likes to play standard. But here, against Royal, just going all in ham with the Lings the second game and being very, very quick with the Spire in this game. Uh, or in the first game, excuse me, and being very quick with the Spire. Oh, in the first game, sorry. I got messed up there with my words. Now, this is not as quick of a Spire. He did want to go all in, though, off of this. You can see he's building the gas. All three of these drones are going to go in there. He's got 600 minerals. Not quite enough gas to make six mutas, but as soon as this finishes, he starts to mine gas. He should have exactly 600, and then he would go in for the kill try to use these links to just prevent the ebay from building he had a follow-up plan to this this is a very well executed uh ling all in or 
I guess, a Mutalisk all-in with a Ling Stab. Uh, kind of sacrificing the economy is the reason why I want to call it an all-in. We're so low on drones, just 14 here total. Whereas usually when you go for even a two hatch mutant, you want to have something like 20 to 24 drones in your mineral lines there to get things really rolling. So this is a very serious commitment from Shine. And again, not what I was expecting out of him at all. Maybe I need to change my expectations for the upcoming tournaments, guys. Maybe I need to rethink uh, how Shine actually wants to play this. It seems like... He's just been refining and refining and refining his standard plate. Maybe he cheeses and then throws in a standard game every once in a while. Just doing kind of the opposite of what most pro players want to do. Like they're going to be throwing in a, a whole bunch of standard games. And then when they're ahead or or whatever uh, prerequisite they need, they're just going to throw a cheese in there. Uh, to see if they can get a free win shine might do the absolute opposite cheese 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 and then see if he can throw in a standard game just to throw off his opponent i don't know what it's going to be this guy is always exciting to watch always an interesting figure to catch up on really love his play and guys i'm going to be paying attention very closely to the ladder seeing if i can get any more shine games out for you guys before these uh, this next tournament comes up before the SSL gets released. That's it for today, though. I'll see you in the next video.